we are going to talk about array lists in Java. Uh, and to start you off, I'm going to refer you to my web page. I think you've seen the web page, my web page before. And I'm going to click on the AP Computer Science Quick Reference. I hope you've explored some of these links at the top of my page. All very important stuff. Uh, so let's look at the Quick Reference. This is a sheet that you will be handed during the exam. So uh, this is stuff that you need to thoroughly understand, but you do not need to have it memorized. We've already talked about a lot of this stuff, you know, about using dot equals and two string. Um, you know about some of this stuff with integers. We've talked about the minimum and maximum value. We haven't really talked about integer objects or double objects. Strings you're very familiar with, how to get length, substring, and so forth, index of compared to the math functions you know. So here's something that we're going to talk about today. This is, this is new. We're going to talk about this thing called array lists, which are very similar, as you would expect. They are very similar to arrays, but array lists have a little bit more function. Um, and array lists, they're kind of like lists, except array lists must contain objects. You're not allowed to have an array list of primitives, like ints, for example. Um, and the other funny thing about an array list is an array list uh, implements the list interface. So the only thing you really need to know about that is sometimes you'll see array lists declared as lists. Like you might see list something equals new array list. Um, don't worry too much about that. It's something you need to be aware of. It's not going to affect how array lists function uh, at all for you. What you do need to worry about, what you do, do need to know is all of these array list methods size of an array list, add, there's two versions of add, uh, there's a get method, a set method, and a remove method. So uh, let's go over those. And to, to do that, I'm bringing you back to the old days. Remember last year, BYOB? I have that opened up next to me here. I'm gonna try to kind of go back and forth between these two windows. So in BYOB, we use these things called lists. They were really array lists in case you didn't realize that. I don't know. So the, the functions really work exactly the same, but I put this uh, in BYOB, I think it illustrates exactly what's going on. So the first function to be aware of is the size function. Here it is right here. Size returns an integer value. So if I run the size function, of course, it'll tell me five. Hey, well, there are five items in my array list. By the way, I don't, the mouse is not tracking quite right. So if I'm pointing to some weird location, I hope you're still looking at the list of names here. So this is a uh, list of five names. Now, of course, in, uh, in Java, they start counting at zero. So these would be listed in Java as zero, one, two, three, four. Here in BYOB, they are, they are one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully that doesn't throw you off. Nonetheless, there are five items. There we go, five items. The, the add method, as you would expect, adds an item uh, to the list. Now, if I just say add, you can see I'll add Amy and watch the end of the list. Amy gets stuck on the end of the list and the value true gets returned. I know that seems weird, but it says over here that the add function, and this E stands for element. I'm adding an element, uh, some object to, to the list and the value true gets returned. And you can see that it even says that it says, uh, pens it to the end and it returns true. All right, that's great. There's another version of add, which uh, adds it to a specified index. So here I'm running the second version of add. I'm going to add to position three, Leslie. Perhaps you recognize these names from Big Bang Theory. So check out the list of names to position three, I'm adding Leslie. And everybody else gets pushed down the list. That's something very important to realize. When you add something in the middle, everybody gets pushed down the list. Or sometimes they write lift, lists left to right, the one would get pushed to the right. Uh, and it says that here on your little cheat sheet. Um, it says it inserts it at some position and everybody at that position um, uh, index and higher gets moved to the right. All right, well they get pushed down or to the right. Uh, there's also a get and set method and they do exactly what you would expect. If I want to get the item at number five, that's Rajesh right now, if I get that, it returns Rajesh or Rajesh or whoever he says his name there. Um, notice the get method does not actually remove the item though. Very important. I'm just, it just returns a copy of it, does not remove it. <clears throat> All right, two more to go. The, there's a, a set method. 
Oh, I just clicked it already. Did you see what happened? I set position three to Bob, and what got returned, let me do it again. I'll, I'll do another name, Jim. If I, if I run the set method, right now Bob is at position three, it will set position three to Jim, and what was there previously gets returned. So I'll click it again. Okay, Bob was there, Bob got returned, um, and position three got set to Jim. All right, and finally, the remove method. If I remove item number three, which is now Jim, that gets removed and Jim gets returned. I can remove then item number three again. It's now Howard. Howard, Howard gets removed and everybody gets shifted up the list. So hopefully that makes sense. You never end up with any empty cells. Like in an array, you can actually have empty spaces. That will not happen in an array list. Uh, if you remove something, everybody gets pushed up the list. So that's a quick overview of array lists. Um, read through read through all of these uh, these methods in detail. Make sure you really get what's going on. You need to be super familiar with all of these array list methods. Alrighty, get to work.